Mark Lamont Hill tried to race bait the raid on Diddy's home and victimize him for what some of the officers did. I believe you said before, uh, in a previous uh, debate or interview, that there wouldn't have been the same attention that was given to the raid on Diddy's home if it had been a white rapper, to which no, I would I say... say that. You didn't no, say I that? I didn't say that. I did not say that. What did no, you say? So, about again, that? You can... You can you can disagree with you can disagree with that point too, but it's you wouldn't be disagreeing with me. Okay. It's hard for me to imagine that had this been many other celebrities, particularly white celebrities, that their children would have been in handcuffs and they would have been forced to stare down the barrel of, of guns and, and seen armored tanks. It, it just seemed like a lot for for a raid of a music producer. Right. I I know the documentary you're referencing. I wish you would have watched it with all due respect, and then you would know I didn't say that. I'll tell you what I said. Yeah. What I did say was. Um, what I'm talking about was the actual nature of the raid. Typically, unless you believe, and this is what I was arguing at the time, unless you believe that Diddy was an armed threat, there was no need to, to handle his children, who were not at the time charged with anything in the way that they did. Mm -hmm. There was no reason to have SWAT, uh, uh, almost like the National, the National Guard, this full military infrastructure to do this. Um, I think they should, I'm not saying they shouldn't have raided the house. I'm not saying they shouldn't have arrested Diddy. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying that what, what my comparison is, they wouldn't have done that to Mark Cuban. The allegations on Diddy include rape, sex trafficking, murder, shooting multiple people, and we have him on video beating and dragging his girlfriend in a hotel. But according to Lamont Hill, the police were armed because he's black. Mark Cuban is a massive celebrity in America. If he had been doing what we now yeah. know from this charge sheet against P. Diddy, he's accused of doing, Damn right they'd have done that to Mark Cuban. These are not like small... Done what? These are, these are not small allegations. Done what? That, that's not what I'm disagreeing... Again, you're... You're, you're saying... You're saying, the, you're not, you're, you're saying, the, you're, you're saying the nature of the raid would not have been as over the top if it had been Mark Cuban, because he's a white guy, right? Is that what you said? I actually don't think it's quite that simple. I think the rapper part of it has a lot to do with it. I think they might have done that to Eminem. That's what I'm saying. I, I, it's not purely racial. I'm saying... Well, what is the point you, you're but, making? But I, I don't really understand it. it. So first it was because he's black, now it's because he's a rapper and they would have done the same thing to Eminem. Which one is it? He's desperately looking for a victim card somewhere, but he just can't quite find it. I, I, if, I promise you, just pro tip here, journalist to journalist, if you let me finish the sentence, you'll completely Always get what I'm saying. Always up for journalistic pro tip. What, I've, what, I, what, I, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, is that with Diddy, as opposed to, say, Mark Cuban, just to use that example, there's an assumption that even if Mark Cuban is committing awful acts, or Harvey Weinstein, we don't need tanks. We don't need to tie his children up and make them sit outside because there's mm -hmm. no reason to believe that those children are going to do harm. There is a default assumption that there, there's going to be a level of danger attached to Diddy that aren't even consistent with the charges. Again, he's a monster. Right, but they don't usually break into homes with tanks and machine guns for child molesters, even though child molesters are the worst people in the world. Well, because there's no many, reason to believe they're going to be pulled out with AR-15s. AR what if it was Mark Cuban? What if it was Jeff Bezos? They wouldn't have brought any guns. There wouldn't have been so many cops. They would have just left him alone. Well, actually, raids, by definition, have a lot of cops and a lot of guns. That's why they're called raids. Here's some of the photos from Mar-a-Lago when they raided Trump. And he wasn't even there. But here's Candace Owens' response to Mark Lamont Hill. Yeah, so I just wanted to bring up a friend of mine, James O'Keefe, who got braided by the feds and had guns pointed at him over a diary, Ashley Biden's diary that he didn't even publish. He's a white guy, had nothing to do with anything, um, and eventually was not found guilty. So this is the way that they act during raids. Regarding his children, if you read the initial lawsuit with Lil Rod, uh, there was a very credible allegation, which Lil Rod made, that he was there the night that uh, Puffy's... Puffy Diddy, whatever his name is today, that his son was involved in the shooting that was in the bathroom. So it's it was obviously um, understandable that they may have thought, uh, given the allegations, that his son had something to do with it. His son was listed all throughout the lawsuit. Um, so when they were raiding them, they were probably also raiding the sons as well. That was my immediate assumption when I saw it. But I do think it's it's completely absurd to suggest that there was, was any sort of rapper or black motivation behind the raid. Uh, like I said, James O'Keefe is a perfect example, and they did not have anything. Um, they had no reason to raid James O'Keefe in the manner that they did, and they did while he was in his boxers at like 3 a.m. in the morning, and they put AR, uh, they, they put guns to his head. So I just completely okay. dispute that. Terrence. Yeah, when it comes to Diddy, I think making it a race thing is insane. If you're willing to make this about race, there's really no saving you. The allegations against Diddy are evil, 
and there's a lot of evidence to back it up. There's just no way to defend this man, no matter how you look at it, no matter how much wokeness you can put into your brain, it just doesn't make sense. He has black victims. He drugged people and took advantage of them, including children. I just don't understand. What does it matter if they sent a thousand cops? Why are we doing these whataboutisms and hypotheticals trying to garner some form of sympathy for someone like Diddy? I just don't get it.